Now, they were hiding Biden's condition this entire time. Okay, this is seriously starting to just get a little weird. What's going on with you good people? Welcome to the channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. Thank every last one of you guys for taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you hit that like button right there so my content can consistently be recommended to you. Don't forget to follow me on the platforms above and below. Last but not least, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel if you think that you are subscribed to the channel, right? Appreciate it. All right, folks, I know I posted a video earlier and it was funny and all that with President Biden. And uh, in recent, like we all know that he... Um, now, I mean, when you think about it, we, we were told that he wrote a letter pretty much saying that he's dropping out of the race and he's going to endorse Kamala. It's just been some really, really strange things that came out. So anyway, when I posted that video, good people up at Fox news, Laura Ingram, who I did an interview with before, it was a um, brilliant, yeah, you know, just what she called me. But anyway, I was going to say it was a really good interview I did with Laura Ingram they got a hold of some information. They just kind of reach out. They see things that you do, and it might be something they want to post. But anyway, they post it as well because it does seem strange. What am I talking about? That President Biden has not been seen or heard from. I'm going with the not heard from, too, because I don't know what that was and what that came in with Kamala Harris. So anyway, check this out. But first, the ultimate cheat fakes. That's the focus of tonight's angle. <laughs> All right, things keep getting weirder and weirder in Biden-Harris land. So it's last Thursday, early morning, three days before his own party would push him to drop out of the race, we were told that Joe Biden had tested positive for COVID. Now, for most adults, four and a half years after the pandemic was called, getting COVID is like getting a cold. Nevertheless, Biden went into seclusion in Wilmington, and he hasn't been seen since. But late this afternoon, we heard his voice at a Kamala event. By the way, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be out there in the campaign with her, with Kamala. I'm going to be working like hell, both as a sitting president, getting legislation passed, as well as in campaigning. Yeah, <laughs> that's reassuring. Now, the only reason he made that odd audio appearance is because so many people thought his disappearance was strange and even disturbing. None of this is normal. They make him sign a letter that no one believes he wrote. And then on Sunday, he followed it up with a tweeted endorsement of the woman who's been his vice president. Now, why wasn't that in the original letter? Oops. Now, I wouldn't hold my breath about seeing Biden tearing it up on the campaign trail, regardless of what he said this afternoon for Kamala. He couldn't campaign for himself. And now he's going to campaign for her? Yeah, OK. Now, maybe he shows up on camera tomorrow looking fit as a fiddle and ready to roar in the final months of, uh, that he has in office. But come on, that's unlikely. After all, if that was the case, why would he have allowed his old friends to force him to drop his campaign? Remember, though, up until Sunday morning at like 11 o'clock, Biden, he was staying in the race. He made a decision. He's going to be the candidate. He's going to be the next president. And now it's time to focus on the threat that Donald Trump poses. It was time to move on. Turn the page. Well, his comms team, let's face it, has tried its hardest to micromanage every formal event that Biden has done since basically his inauguration. But then we're supposed to believe this is how it all ends? It, it seems like there was zero preparation for an actual announcement. It was rushed out. The networks weren't alerted ahead of time, as they always are. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, Biden's people just didn't want another bad news cycle. I guess that's what it was. They needed this week badly. They badly needed it to be about how great Kamala is. But just as we saw with the lack of transparency over the attempted assassination of President Trump, which we're going to get to in this Kimberly Cheadle embarrassment shortly, Conspiracy theories swirl in the absence of hard facts. And of course, we have no transparency here about Biden's condition whatsoever. So some Americans tonight, even with his audio you know, phone in to the Kamala event, people tonight are wondering, is Biden really OK? Is he even perhaps gravely ill? 
Yeah, come on, this has been the M.O., though, of the Biden team, including Kamala Harris herself, for this entire administration. It goes something like this. Whenever they're questioned, whether it's on policy or Biden's medical condition, they deflect, demonize, and deny. No, the border is secure. Of course it's secure. There's no crisis. No, Ukraine isn't losing ground. They're winning. And no, Biden is not dropping out of the race. No, Biden is not impaired at all. It's all cheap fake. So it's conceal the facts and spin, spin, spin until the last possible second. That was Sunday, until they couldn't delay any further. So tell me, why should we trust a man who can't manage his own withdrawal from the campaign to run the country and be our commander in chief for the next six months? Every single person who saw Joe Biden knew that he wasn't capable of doing the job. And for three years, they said nothing until he became political dead weight. That is not a way to run a country. That is not a way to run a political party. That is an insult to voters. Both Biden's absence and his presence is now signaling American weakness to our adversaries. And also, of course, it brings on the possibility of horrible outcomes over the next several months. So if we have a foreign policy crisis, if we have a financial crisis, a national security crisis, who's going to be making the big decisions? If Biden cannot discharge his duties, he needs to step down, and Democrats and Republicans together should be demanding that he step down. The, the White House isn't a nursing home. You don't get to live there because you're a nice old man who's been glad-handing in Washington for the past 50 years, and by the way, making your family rich in the process. This is literally the most important job in the world. And the fact is, Democrats have been willing to gamble, though, with our economy and our safety, frankly, for the past three and a half years. They knew what Biden was all about. They knew he was in decline. And by the way, do you realize that the last time Biden was briefed, briefing House Democrats on Capitol Hill, excuse me, about one of his main priorities was back in 2021. And we're only now learning that that briefing on Capitol Hill back in 2021 was a total disaster. He bungled it in trying to push his $1 trillion infrastructure bill, and Pelosi had to step in to take over. According to the Wall Street Journal today, in 30 minutes of remarks on Capitol Hill, Biden had spoken disjointedly and failed to make a concrete ask of lawmakers, according to Democrats in the room. After he left, a visibly frustrated Pelosi told the group that she would, art she would articulate what Biden had been trying to say. Now, they were hiding Biden's condition this entire time. And they were gaslighting all of us who were documenting his obvious decline. And those same people, those very same people, are now trying to convince us that Kamala Harris is some political juggernaut. She's historic. She's young. By the way, she's going to be 60 on Election Day. So all this Democrat happy talk about Harris's candidacy, her brilliance, it's just par for the course. Do not for a moment let it obscure a few simple truths. The Democrats put all of their chips on Biden, and they lost the bet. He's now going to go down in history as a failure who collapsed the first time he had to really defend his record on national TV. And then Biden was humiliated by his own party, who forced him out. And Kamala Harris was not the first choice of any Democrat to run against Trump. They all thought that she'd be weaker than Biden because she has all his policy baggage, including the abysmal failure at the border, but none of Biden's political talent or working class appeal. Remember, when she ran against him, she was forced to drop out before the Iowa caucuses. Total embarrassment. So the move to replace Biden with Harris, it's not some 3D chess move. It's a desperate move to replace their quarterback with an untested, unproven backup player. And no, Biden's not Drew Bledsoe, and Harris is not Tom Brady, so forget that. If they really thought that Harris could have done a job, a job better than Biden, they would have forced him out months ago, but they didn't. So the bottom line is this. This is an unserious party run by petty, foolish people who always put their own personal interests ahead of what's best for the country. 
if they cared about the United States, they would have dumped Biden a long time ago. But he was just another political calculation. After all, he's a puppet, too. And once the numbers didn't work for the party power brokers, Biden was roadkill. But the American people don't deserve the same fate. And I don't believe they're going to fall for the Kamala sneak either. And that's the angle. See what I'm saying? Things just don't add up. Things, doesn't, things don't make sense. Look, it's just weird. As being a president, you think it would be far more professional for you to come out and make an announcement on TV, address the nations, something. But you telling me, top tier leadership, most powerful person in the world, you do this by writing something on X, a.k.a. Twitter. That's what we get. How do we know it's even him? We all know that Karine Jean-Pierre was busted writing for President Biden. Yes, she was, because on her own Twitter account, she wrote something out as if she was the president. So we knew that there was somebody that was behind a closed door that was writing these things for President Biden. Then all of a sudden, the pictures and everything came out where the signatures weren't lining up. They didn't look the same or anything like that. Well, um, world, where is President Joe Biden? Is President Joe Biden okay? I told you guys an earlier report, uh, things that came through to Charlie Kirk with some trusted sources. Now, it could be nothing, folks. It could be. But all I'm saying is that in light of the one of the most historical moves in our time right now, his, historical things are happening. What are they planning? That's what y'all need to understand. You need to understand that they are planning something. You think they just did this and all of a sudden they want us to believe that they're all in shambles and scrambling around, running around with chickens with the head cut, running around like chickens with the head cut off. No, they are not. They have a plan. They strategically planned this. They knew this was going to happen. They're already ahead. I told you guys, we need to be thinking further than this. I get that we're focusing on this election and everything, which is all fine and dandy. We need to go beyond it. We need to go beyond Trump. Them four years are going to fly by, folks. We need to think beyond Trump. Who's going to be the predecessor of President Trump? That's where we need to be thinking. Who's going to be lined up to be able to be able to actually take the system on as well? I hope whoever it is, it might be somebody spiritual. What I'm saying is for, ladies and gentlemen, that something just don't seem right. Even when President Biden, he has done calls in the past with him and Jill Biden on video. Why didn't Jill speak out or anything like that? Why didn't she say, yeah, Kamala, something. She's always been speaking on behalf of Joe Biden on the other things, right? Why not this time? So, again, I just want you all to think about that. We have not seen him since he got COVID, okay? When that, that call in and came, when Kamala kind of slipped up and said, Joe's on a on the Yeah, like she's going to say, he's a recording. It seemed like she was about to slip up and say something like that. And then even the way that President Biden spoke in there, it just did not sound like him. I didn't hear that that whisper like type hum in his voice that look folks we gotta make sure it was clear get him kiddo i mean it, y'all it, I'm, I, you can call it conspiracy all you want to all i'm just saying is that it didn't sound like him at all i want to see president biden where's our president <laughs> y'all know i'm giving you a hard time saying our president but yeah seriously I, I i like to know i know a lot of folks got questions i know a lot, a lot of people got concerns you guys can call it a conspiracy all you want to now, I'm not going to go as far as some people. Y'all might be right, but I'm not going to go as far as saying, hey, people are, you know, people have been saying that he's already dead. Now, as of late, there's been this new thing that came out that said that President Biden, they posted it about him being on um, some sort of um, hospice. I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. So what I'll do right now, you guys just bear with me. I'll go on to Twitter X and see if. Whatever this was that was being reported, I'll see if I can find it. See, that's what it said. This, uh, I don't know who it's from. It's all kind of things. People saying I'm seeing a report going around. Okay, it came from the global press right here. I'll show it to you guys. All right. See that? Global press. A verified source has informed the global press team that Joe Biden is currently in hospice care and is unlikely to survive the night. So, y'all, I don't know. I I don't know. This is all weird. If Joe Biden is on hospice, that is sad. It is. I mean, I don't know. This is how stuff can get started. So, um, I don't know who this is. It says, I have helped hundreds of people sign consent for procedures. An old sick person 
never has a clean signature like Joe Biden supposedly did when he announced he was running. They always look like two worse than demented and Parkinson's. Yeah. But, um, yes, this is weird. This is just weird. And there it is again. Most people are just putting it out there. Verify source has informed. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me go back down. Verify source has informed the global press team that Joe Biden is currently in hospice care and is unlikely to survive the night. So then who the heck was it that was doing a debate? And I'm just joking, y'all. It's just, just all too weird. This is all too weird. So anyway, I don't know. And this is what happened with the global press. They're showing this little deal right here. Let me see if I can go back over here. And it seemed like things were adding up. Look, uh, this is what they said in the beginning. Global press was saying all this. Biden campaign says he would announce a withdrawal from presidential candidate on Sunday, and he did. Yes, like we said, there is no official source, but the source that told us Joe Biden was dropping out of the race this Sunday, two days prior to announcing, also informed us of this just now and corroborated with another source. The news report is 100% false, and there is no official confirmed source stating that President Biden is in hospice care and not late to buy the night, blah, 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 blah. If this was actually happening, mainstream media and social media would be covering it immediately. No, they wouldn't, because we don't know where he's at. So that's what I'm saying. We It's so much stuff that's out there right now. You just do not know, but the truth will eventually come out. It will eventually come out, folks. We, we, we're going to see. So anyway, I just want to give you all that heads up about that. Y'all know who I am about getting things out there to you guys. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think that he's already dead? Do you think that he actually is on hospice? Do you think he just actually is in his home chilling somewhere getting over COVID, which, which just should be easy for him to kind of bounce back from considering he has all the boosters. You know, the boosters he told, you know, the, the shot that he told y'all to get telling us that, you know, you don't have to worry about it. You won't get it again. You know, remember all that? So he should be fine. He shouldn't even have hardly no symptoms with all those boosters, right? Right? Do you think it's still part of the coup that they was uh the coup that they were staging? All of a sudden, this all happened in Kamala Harris in one night, astronomically raised a eighty-one million dollars. The machine, folks, the machine. She's going to be the nominee, but I still don't know what Barack Obama and them got up their sleeve or who are the other presidential candidates that they want to put there. But all I can tell you this: all of you that are Democratic, you guys. Did not get the guy that y'all wanted in the primaries. They picking the person for you. And yet, Trump is a threat to democracy. Yeah. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think by leaving in the comments below after this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you get out of here and double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you, including Joe Biden, have food, shelter, and clothes. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.